everybody, my name is Allison Dredla and I'm one of the animal care staff specialists here at Zoo Montana. Um, and more specifically, I'm also the zoo's um, training and enrichment coordinator. Now, what does that mean? What does that tie into how to tie to our animals? It's actually a very important part of our daily care and mental and physical well-being of our animals. It's up to us keepers to provide them with stimulating things such as enrichment. Um, and that could be anything that can be keeper interaction with these animals. If it's safe to go to do so with these animals, it could be on a Kong toy, a giant hard plastic ball for our tigers. It could be an old rotted log with some super worms in it for our badger to dig through. Um, if we didn't provide these things for our animals here, our animals would get pretty bored. Um, they would probably tend to be a little overweight. Maybe their nails would grow a little bit long. So it's very important for us to manage these animals care um, by providing them these kinds of stimulations called enrichment. Enrichment can also be training. Training is actually happening all the time, whether we know it or not. Um, sometimes we like to joke that the animals train us, so we have to really be on it when we're working with our animals. Now we train our animals here to actually participate in their own care. Um, for example, we'll stay on topic of the badger. Um, we've actually trained her for a nail trim, so she voluntarily offers us her nails, we clip them away, and she is just happy as a, I would say a clam, but happy as a badger, goes on her merry way. We can also train animals to voluntarily accept injections. Let's say our bear, um, he's elderly and he needs um, shots to help his joints. So we've actually trained him to accept these shots to kind of better um, his quality of life here. Now, how did I get to be Zoo Montana's training and enrichment coordinator? Well, it's honestly always been my passion. I like to be the best that I can be so I can provide, provide the best care for our animals here at the zoo. Um, and that means constantly doing research, constantly networking with people from um, all over the nation and sometimes all over the world. Um, in specific, we work with um, otter groups from um, the, the UK, so you know, en endless options there. Some of my jobs um, on a day-to-day -day basis include providing resources for our other animal care specialists so they can then pass these on to um, training enrichment for our animals, um, organizing all the giant stash of enrichment that we have here at the zoo, um, and kind of being a role model for um, our other anim animal care staff specialists. Too. So I brought some enrichment items here with me today um, so I can show you folks what we actually do here. And you will recognize a lot of these items such as this cinnamon. This is not for eating, usually. Um, it's for the animals to roll in, put a little sprinkle on the ground. Our wolverines love rolling it, rolling in it. Kind of mimics like another animal coming into their territory, um, something different. We also use a lot of paper products like this paper tube here. Um, it can stuff some food in it, some snacks. Um, Honestly, the, the options with these tubes are endless. You can check out our Facebook for a lot of the enrichment we've actually done for them. We even use smaller ones. I have seen a bear use one of these and be very, very delicate. We crimp them like this, and I've seen a bear take his little claws and barely open them and then gently eat all the snacks out on the inside. You think they go nuts so? I don't know, I guess not this bear. He must be extra special. Uh, <clears throat> So this one you guys will all probably recognize. It's your, your basic Kong. Um, our zoo animals love this too. Obviously there's a nice big hole so we can shove lots of treats and snacks. Um, and some animals are very smart and know how to get the treats out right away. Some animals, um, like a bird for example, a hawk, might take a little bit longer. We have simple bubble blowing. And we have other store-bought products you can buy um, at your local pet store too, like this bird puzzle feeder. Now I mentioned that you can do these things at home, which you totally can. I have a dog, I do enrichment for him all the time. He has a million of these things and then some. If you have a dog that doesn't like when you leave, you can throw some peanut butter and some of his kibble and a Kong, throw it in the freezer and give it to him when you leave. That way he's occupied throughout the day. Kind of gets to move around a little bit, physical and mental stimulation, plus it's fun for us. So for the reasons we already mentioned, training enrichment is very important in, zoo, in zoos. If you're interested more in training enrichment, um, the next time you go to your local zoo or maybe you're on a vacation and go to another zoo, um, take a look a little bit harder in their exhibit. See if you can spot some naturally colored items that maybe the animals are throwing around. Um, the exhibit itself could be enrichment. You know, I mean, there's rocks to climb or holes to dig, maybe giant tree logs to move around. Now, obviously, there's more to training and enrichment than what we've talked about today, but those are some of the basics. So try it out on your animals at home.